Today on Coffee and Questions, let's talk about Badland Universal Channel Wench Mount. We just did a video discussing the Badland wenches, but some people wanted to know more about the mounting bracket. Let me change the picture. Let's get right to it. We'll have a conversation. Okay, so here's a picture and the advertisement for the Badland you know, mounting bracket. Now, there are two options here. The option that we chose to go out of the club for a friend of mine that bought one of those Badland wenches is we fabricated our own out of thick plate steel. We went out to a steel supplier. We asked them if they had any cutoffs, and they sure did. They had them in both plate steel and real thick sheet metal, and they had angle iron, and they had tube steel, and they had everything else you wanted in the way of cutoffs. So we found some that would work, brought it home, and we cut it up, and we began to fabricate you know, his own mounting bracket. But let's say you didn't want to go that route, and you prefer to buy it, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with this bracket, but it does have some quirks that we need to talk about. It's $49.99, no 20% discount applied at the moment, but if you did, it would drop it to around $40, so that's a good deal. Okay, so one of the first questions is, it says universal channel wench mount it is not universal okay so don't think that it does not work on most any jeeps so you're going to have to drill new mounting holes you'll have to match this up the way that you want to drill holes and mount it now i wouldn't suggest that i'm going to read you a comment that somebody posted but which is also true because out at the club we we're sitting around talking about them and there's a guy that works part-time in one of the fabrication shops locally he said hey the guy's comments very true let me read it to you okay so it says i work in the off-road industry and we get more than enough customers bringing in this unit to install this will not fit any year model jeep without serious modifications to either the jeep's frame or the wench plate which is not recommended to do because of the thin plate of steel used in the manufacturer this unit also claims to support nine to twelve thousand pound pull wench not even close the plate was used with a nine thousand pound badland wench on a custom frame pre-runner weighing in at thirty thousand three hundred pounds the plate failed and ripped off from its mounting bracket the plate base tore around the mounting bolts, which held it tight, and it was being pulled off a rock steep ledge that is teetering on. Do not buy. Okay. So, I mean, in a nutshell, you want to be very careful about how you're going to mount this. You might want to read into it a little bit and figure out the best way to mount it, especially if you're going to be putting that kind of demand pull on this. So anyway that's a comment it was worth mentioning in here let's see what else we have okay so the mounting bracket i think everybody agrees is going to work for light duty to moderate use but if you're going to use this for any kind of really heavy pulling let's say twelve thousand pounds which is full capacity if you have the twelve thousand pound you know badland winch you're going to bend the hell out of this bracket it's not going to withstand it in that case you're better off actually fabricating your own if you can do it and i would suggest you seriously think about it because for the most part if especially if you have a jeep it's not going to line up these holes these mounting holes and you're going to have to drill them anyway so if you're going to have to drill them anyway you know you might give consideration to go to your steel supplier and look in the cutoff section so you know that's my take on that and you can actually make it more custom i mean the way you wanted it to especially if you're putting it into a trailer bed which is what we talked about on the last video where it had to be custom you know kind of made and drilled because as it went down through the floorboard we wanted it to go through the frame on the underneath side and then we dropped long bolts down through it and we really tightened the hell out of it it's just a better way of mounting it for strength and as far as the bracket goes, you can get much thicker plate steel, I mean, to make yourself a really stout bracket. So a lot of people complained that they returned these because the mounting holes didn't line up. Well, it's in, in a way I understand, you know, you would have to drill new mounting holes. And like the guy said, you don't want to drill those necessarily just into a bumper that may not be able to withstand that pull. Um, that's up to you. So a lot of people returned them. The other side of it is, you know, depending on the bumper and everything else that you have, maybe you don't have a stock bumper. Maybe you got one of these worn bumpers or something that's super heavy duty and it's really secured to the frame well, but you'd still have to drill those holes. 
Um, I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker. I would say that if you're going to put a huge load on this for pulling, like we just talked about, then you may want to either make your own bracket or get a more heavy duty bracket. And I'll drop some links below where there is a much more heavy duty bracket. But this bracket is very doable and there are people out at the club. I mean, they've used it on the insides of their utility trailers. I'm not so sure about anybody that's mounted it you know, onto any of their four wheel drive or their trucks, but they mounted it, you know, into the trailers and they didn't have a problem with it so far, but you just have to understand its limitations. So for light to moderate duty, one of the people out at the club installed it on a trailer that had a ramp on the back because he pulls ATVs and things like that. And I think a golf cart, if I remember right, one of those ones with knobby wheels up on it. This is a very doable plate. If you're going to pull this thing to capacity, you're going to probably want something more heavy duty. Making one is actually, if you have a welder, is a lot of fun in a way. You can custom design this, I mean, however you want, and you can get it out of thicker gauge material, like I keep saying. So it's something to think about, but this is a very doable bracket. And if you're not sure if the holes line up, take measurements before you go out to the store and buy the bracket. Make sure it's going to so you don't get home. And then I see all these slew of complaints where the mounting holes aren't lining up. So it's not universal. And people, it's one of their huge complaints. Simple measurements before you go out to buy, it's going to solve whether or not, you know, the brackets for you. Those are the limitations on it. So it's something to consider, you know, if you want this bracket. I think it's doable in certain situations. I mean, and uh, would I put this on my Jeep or my truck and try to tow it to capacity. Not without putting some thought into the structure of that bumper and the thickness of the steel and so forth, like the guy said from the fabrication shop. Those are good thoughts to keep in mind. I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you click subscribe, keep following me, drop a comment if you like these reviews, and let me know if you know of something better out there. Also, I will drop in the comment below a more heavy duty bracket for those of you that are looking around for something that you don't want to fabricate it. All right, folks, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.